Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at how I field strip MREs for bug out bags or camping. Hey folks, thanks for coming back to the channel today. Um, I want to do a quick uh, overview of how I like to uh, field strip or take down MREs when I'm using them for camping or using them to pack in my bug out bag or my bug home bags or my car kits or anything. Any place where space is a premium. Um, if you take a look at an average MRE, it's pretty darn big, you know? Uh, and there's a lot of stuff in there that you may not need in an emergency or survival situation. There's a lot of stuff in there that's really nice to have, but you may not need it in a disaster or emergency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one up. This is one that was given to me by... Uh, Gosh, a gentleman who got them during some natural disaster. I don't remember if it was Katrina and he was volunteering. or So it's fairly old. So I want to open it up. And I'm sure it still tastes good. But I want to open it up and use it and show you how I field strip them. Rather do it with an old one than a new one. Anyway, we're going to take a quick look at it. But uh, like I said, the point of this is to make it a smaller package. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to take the old Camillus titanium knife here that I did a review on recently, cut it open, all right? And I'm going to take it the whole way. And this is the real deal. This is a real MRE here, but it's so old that I think I want to rotate it out. All right. Now you see there's all that stuff in there, okay? Some of it may be very handy. Some of it you really don't need. So... First thing we have here is a wheat bread snack. Kind of got the camera at a distance today to show you everything, so um, you can't probably see it very well. Uh, we got a little pack here with some, what the heck? Freeze-dried coffee, cool, okay. A thing of apple jelly, a thing of Twizzlers that I really would not dare eat. Plus, I wouldn't stick that in a bug out bag. Um, chunky peanut butter. That's kind of handy, small, compact, lots of protein. A spoon. Now, if you already have a spork, a spoon, mine is a CRKT Eaton tool. If you already have something, you don't really need that. Granted, there's not much weight to it, but it's more bulk. This is a hot beverage bag, and this is your cocoa powder. Probably wouldn't take that, as I probably, I really only drink coffee and water, so I probably wouldn't take that. This is your dry heater. I mean your wet heater. This is the water heater. Um, this is the one you pour water in and it heats up. Now, if I was um, if I was taking two or three of these, I'd probably bring two or three of these. But in my situation, I probably have about ten of these wrapped up neatly and tightly. And they're the new small ones like this one. Um, as opposed to the ones that are a little bit thicker. So I probably wouldn't take it with me because I already have enough. Alright, what do we got here? Fried rice? And Asian beef strips, beef, Asian style beef strips with vegetables. So here's the deal. This and this is probably, I might take the peanut butter and I might take this. But this stuff, apple jelly and that, eh. I mean, it's nice to have, but do I really need it? Probably not. Now here's where you have to make a choice. If you're, if you're using a wood stove, if you've got a little propane burner, and you intend to heat this stuff up on that and not use the burner, I would say ditch the box. If you're going to heat it up with the uh, flameless ration heater, you want to open this up and stick it in there. And it'll kind of hold it tight and heat it up good. As a general rule, um, I have a couple of them with boxes and a couple without. But there's always some way, uh, an old ditty bag or something that you have that you could wrap up. There's always some way to do it. So generally, I like to... Take these, open them up, and go with that. Again, a little thinner, a little less bulk. I mean, that punch card and cardboard is not going to kill you hiking. But, a little less bulk, a little smaller. Now, some people could say, yeah, it's tinder. But, um, if I'm going for compactness, I already have a fire kit packed with tinder. Don't really need it. Same goes with the entree. Now, I've got this, instead of that big bulky, well, it's about that big, MRE, and all this extra weight. Now, it's a few ounces. You may think, ah, oh, I'm new to this, but, you know, I can carry that. 
But four or five of those together is going to make it very hard to pack enough nutrition in an average sized bug out bag. If you want, now what I've done with my larger bag is I took a uh, wet dry bag and took all of my MRE entrees and sides and stacked them up. And they're about the size of a full size MRE. I have about four or five of them there along with freeze dried food. You try sticking four or five of these in your uh, bug out bag. <laughs> Not going to go too well. So anyway, that's just a little idea. It's something that I never knew of um, until I started getting into prepping and survival. Um, you know, I would, pack an M I would pack a bug out bag with three or four MREs and complain that I couldn't get enough in there with of other stuff. So this way kind of gives you a way to break it down into a nice small package. And even if you're, you know, you already have this stuff and you don't want it, that's really small. And you know, when we're talking survival, that's more than enough. That will get you through, you know, a couple of meals if you're cautious about how you eat it. That'll get you through. And that's a heck of a lot smaller than carrying all that extra stuff. Um, if you have a vehicle and you store these in your vehicle, yeah, I may keep it in the original packaging. That may be fine. But for bug out bags, for camping, hiking, um, you know, even my everyday carry, I have a uh, beef patty, just a single beef patty. I fold it up the sides as small as I can get it, and it's in there. That way if I'm stuck, you know, and let's face it, in today's world, there's a good chance you're going to be stuck in a lockdown in a building or something like that. If I'm stuck somewhere and I start to get really hungry, I can eat, you know. And that lockdown may last two or three days. Who knows, you know. I mean, we've seen shooters go on for hours on end, eight, nine, ten hours. Well, I got something to eat. So I'm a little more relaxed, a little more in control of my uh, faculties and a little bit, a little bit uh, more able to deal with whatever life throws at me during that time. So anyway, that's how I field strip MREs. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You can do it any way you want. You know, let's say you don't want that, but you really want that hot cocoa mix. Well, there you go. Still a tiny package. And that's about it for today. A uh, quick channel note. The next couple of weeks are going to be really, really busy for me. Um, if you don't see videos from me, yes, I still, uh, I'm still doing the channel. I'm still maintaining it. I'm going to try my best to get as many videos as I can out. But uh, it's just going to be really, really busy the next few weeks. So um, we will see you soon. Um, there's a gun show coming up Sunday. I'll probably give you a quick uh, tour of what I picked up at the gun show. Quick look at it. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.